My name is Lamont. I am at the Aurora Cemetery here in Aurora, Texas. And a long time ago, an aircraft crashed into this town. All the folks ran out of their houses to see what the commotion was all about. And they found this aircraft, just pieces of it scattered all over the ground. They rushed to the wreckage to see if anybody was hurt. And they found the pilot of this aircraft. He was badly disfigured and he was dead. The only thing about this story is the pilot was not from this planet. So allow me to explain this story. Now, this was reported in the Dallas Morning News on April 17th, 1897. So two days prior to that newspaper being published, the story goes as follows. There was a craft that was crossing the sky here, going very, very slow. And people were looking at this aircraft and they were wondering what it was. Because remember, back then there were no planes. So this craft comes floating very slowly over across the sky. And all of a sudden, it starts plummeting to the ground, strikes a windmill, and just crashes into, this, uh, into the grounds of a judge's house that lived back in the day. His name was J.S. Proctor. It was a terrible explosion, a terrible crash. And all the people in the town, they all started wondering what the hell is going on here. It woke everybody up. They come outside and there's just wreckage everywhere. Weird metal debris. Nobody knows really what's going on. Nobody really knows what this thing is. So people are picking through the debris and they see what looks to be the pilot of this weird, mysterious craft. His body was badly burned and badly disfigured. And to everyone's amazement, they're looking at the pilot and they realize he's not human. They don't know what he is. They never seen anything like it before. And it gets a little bit more shocking as the story continues. Now at the time when they discovered this pilot of this weird craft that was not created on this planet, people had a tough time describing what they were seeing. All they could see is that it was a little person with a big head and that's all they can tell. They weren't sure what color its skin was. Everyone that knew what they were looking at knew this creature was not from this planet. And then panic started setting in on the local community at large. Being at the time a very Christian nation, people were afraid that it was possibly a demon or maybe the world was going to end, so forth and so on. So they did what any self-respecting Christian person would do, they gave him a name, they named him Ned, and they gave him a Christian burial. They placed a rock on his gravesite that was in the shape of the ship that they seen flying, which appeared to them to be in the shape of a cigar, a, a very cylindrical shape. And they buried him somewhere out here, but of course, as time went on, you had people coming here, desecrating the grave, and eventually his marker was stolen. So we have a plaque uh, about the uh, Aurora Cemetery, and it uh, talks about uh, the oldest known graves here, which says dating from as early as the 1860 are those of the Randall and Roulette families. And if you go down a little bit further, this site is also well known because of the legend that a spaceship crashed nearby in 1897 and the pilot killed and the crash was buried here. But of course, as time went on, nobody knows exactly where they buried the body of this unknown creature. Now, several people out there feel that this whole story is nothing but a hoax. One of the founding members of this town was known to be a hoaxer. And previous years before the supposed crash, Aurora, Texas was besieged by 
bad luck. Uh, there was a terrible fire here where many people lost their lives. Uh, a town that relied heavily on their cotton crop uh, had downturned years. And at that time, it was really turning into a dying town. Some feel that he made up the story to just generate interest in the town. But often the story has been taken very seriously. And there's been several stories done about this town, about the supposed crash site, and supposedly where this creature from another world was buried. Over time, people have forgotten where exactly it was buried. Okay, so I'm at the oldest part of the cemetery. And just in case you can't see the dates on the stones, we have a death date here of April 8th, 1884. James W., son of H.T. and M.E. Watkins. We have another death date of 1890. John M., son of C.W. and Tish Watkins. And we have another death date of 1907. So I'm led to believe that if this crash actually occurred here, and there was a creature from another planet, so to speak, in my own estimation, he would have been buried just somewhere in this general area. So tell me what you think. Do you believe this story? Do you believe that an actual UFO crashed into this town back in 1897 and an alien was on board and died in a crash and they buried him out here? I wouldn't call myself a UFO buff, but I do believe in UFOs. I do believe in, that aliens exist. I do believe on life on other planets. I've seen two UFOs before right in front of my very eyes. What I seen, was it man-made? In my opinion, no. I believe the two craft that I've seen flying before were not made on this planet. That's just my personal opinion. I think that this government that we're under, I think that they are slowly, possibly going to disclose that there in fact is aliens. That's just my personal opinion. Will we all be alive? to see and witness the government confirm that there are flying saucers, that there are UFOs, that there, that there is known life on other planets. Who knows? But uh, like I said, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Uh, not, a, not a usual video for me, but uh, just thought it was interesting. Anyways, I am Lamont at large, and I am at the Aurora Cemetery. Live, but not live, but still live by the grace of God. I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace out.